Can I begin by thanking you, Caroline, for your work over the last year to chair the Assembly's uh, Economic uh, Committee, and I wish Susan all the best of luck uh, over the next uh, year chairing that important committee. It's vital, that, it's vital that Londoners are equipped with the tools they need to manage their money effectively. And the recent London Assembly Economic Committee report, short changed, uh, was right to highlight the need to improve the financial health and education of young Londoners. City Hall recently conducted a representative survey of young people in London that showed less than half could identify having learned anything at school about how to manage money. This is despite financial education being added to the secondary school to nat national curriculum in 2014 as part of citizenship education. These results reflect similar national surveys conducted by the Money Advice Service and as more and more young people are borrowing to cover basic living costs, the need to properly prepare them to manage their finances has never been greater. I'm currently finalising plans for a summit at City Hall that would bring together local authorities, education providers, banks, charities and technology companies to identify how City Hall can best support partners in addressing these challenges. This summit will look to address a number of the recommendations covered in the short change report and I'll happily extend an invitation for representatives of the Economic Committee to attend. Improving the pay and quality of employment in London is also important for improving the financial health of Londoners. This year I'll be launching my Good Work Standard that will, provide further, that will promote further the London living wage and encourage more employers to pay their staff fairly. It will also look to promote the uptake of payroll deducted loans for employees as well as membership of credit unions which are important and vital alternative for people who are excluded from mainstream finance. Thank you, uh, Mr Mayor, and thank you for your very positive uh, response to the Economy Committee report um, on the financial health of Londoners. Um, I, I'm really glad to hear you um, not only promising to host a summit, but talking now about um, getting that organised. I think you know, bringing together technology innovators, fintech providers, voluntary and community sector organisations, and education providers is really important if we're going to improve the financial health of Londoners. Now, there's going to be a lot of organisations who are keen to attend the summit, and from people working with some of the most marginalised groups in London, and also, you know, some of the big banks with their sort of corporate social responsibility functions. Um, which team within the GLA is going to be organising your summit, and which deputy mayor will this sit with? Well, why don't I work with the new chair and you to make sure we get the right people there? I'm happy to. I'm happy to do that. It's not. I mean, it's not. This is. This is about making sure we get the right people there because we'd kick ourselves if they weren't there. So why don't I after the chair arrange for my team to meet with the new chair and Caroline to make sure it's a success. That, that would be fantastic. Thank you. And um, you also, do you know when you're hoping to get this summit to happen? Um, I've not got the date, but it's, it's, it's not far away. Okay. Um, uh, summer, I think, is, 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 the, is the, summer. the phrase the officials like me to use. They, they prefer seasons rather than dates. But, okay, but okay, summer. I'll, I'll chase you in September if it hasn't happened. But, no, but, we'll, but, but the team will meet before then to make sure it, the right people are there. Okay, fantastic. Um, now, the rep our report revealed that just over a quarter, that's 27% of 18 to 30-year-olds in London, say that they are in debt all the time. Now, I recently met with my bank and the JP Morgan Foundation, and they told me about a project they've been doing in Greenwich and also in Newham called the Money House Project. They work with um, young care leavers, preparing them for life as adults, managing their own finances. It's been a real success, and they are wanting to help to build relationships with more local authorities to help them scale up their project across London. Now, one practical thing you might be able to do, Ms. Mayor, is to use your channels of communication to share this good practice and help my bank to engage with local authorities so that they can extend this project working on the financial health of particularly some of the most marginalised young people, the care leavers. Um, uh, so is that something you would look at? So two things. Firstly, it says autumn, not summer, so apologies for that. So we'll, but we'll get you the date for the, uh, the summit. But one of the reasons why we want to have the summit is to get best practice then to roll it out. And so I think it'd be a mistake to start scaling up things before the summit, because the idea, as I understand from your report, the idea for the summit was to get everyone together and then get all the ideas and best practice and, and then roll them out. But that's the sort of thing, uh, if the, you know, when there is a summit, it'd be a good presentation to have, and so we can see whether others are doing that and whether we can scale it up. Great, thank you. Um, and then finally, in your response to the report, um, you say that you're planning to conduct another survey with young people in London. 
Can I ask, you know, when that survey is likely to go live and also how you're going to make sure that you get a really good range of young people from a very diverse communities and, and different socioeconomic backgrounds to complete it? So the survey uh, is going to be, was done in February and March. It will be published, uh, as is normal with the timetable for surveys, on the 6th of June. Uh, and so you'll see that you see, and I've got, you know, and so it was, it was quite representative, uh, 16 to 24 year olds, and uh, you'll see the results when they're published in, in June, but they're imminent. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. I'm, I'm coming to the end of my time, so um, thank you for your offer to work okay. closely with me and Assembly Member Hall on taking this work forward. Yep. Thank you. Question from Assembly Member.